Hello, and welcome to today's webinar. My name is Kyle, and I'll be your host for about the next 20 minutes or so. Thank you so much for coming. We are very happy to have you here today. I've been at Massage Book for about the past six years now, and as far as I know, this is the first time we've ever done anything like this. Certainly my first time ever hosting a webinar, so please bear with me if there are any hiccups along the way. Really excited about this. It's something we've been wanting to try for quite some time now. Really just looking for a fun new way to interact with and connect with those who are in our massage and bodywork community. And our goal here with these is to teach you some business and marketing strategies that you can implement into your day-to-day -day with the help of software like Massage Book. Now, before we got this rolling, we sent out a survey to a group of massage therapists asking, hey, if we were to host a webinar, what would you be most interested in learning more about? A lot of the top responses we got back were centered around, I'd like to learn more about getting myself in front of people who are looking for my services, I need help getting new clients, things like that. Pain points we hear about all the time here at Massage Book, but that's one of the reasons we exist, to help alleviate those pains. The timing on this is working out really well. We're in the process of making some improvements to our online search directory where someone can find and book a massage therapist near them. If you're not familiar with it, you're gonna learn a lot more about it in the next few minutes. So we decided to pair the two together into today's topic, which is top tips for getting more new clients from the massage book directory. So I'm gonna show you what's new in the directory and what you can expect to see within the next few weeks, months, as we continue to roll out these improvements. And then I'm gonna show you what you need to be doing to make sure that if someone does come across your listing, they can take a look at it and say, hey, this person looks like they know what they're doing. They look like a pro. I want to book with this provider. So here's how this is going to work. I'm going to take us through a tour of the directory. Then we're going to take a deep dive into some settings and features that you need to be aware of in Massage Book if you want your listing to look awesome. And then we're going to do a Q&A. So if you have any questions that come up along the way, you should see a chat menu in the window you're looking at. Feel free to say hey to the group if you'd like, but if you have any specific questions about anything I'm talking about, you can send me a direct message and afterwards I will do my best to answer as many of them as I can. Like I said, we're going to try and keep this right around 20 minutes. Looks like we're coming up on three. So we are going to get going here in a sec. But before we do, if you can't stick around, if you got to leave, whatever reason, no worries. We're going to send a replay of this webinar to your email within the next 24 hours. So be on the lookout for that. If you're ready, I'm going to go ahead and disappear, hop into Massage Book, and we are going to get going. Okay, so here we are on the homepage of the Massage Book directory. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you have a Massage Book account, you've probably seen this page a time or two before, but if you've never looked around, that's what we're going to do now. You are more than welcome to just sit back and watch what's about to happen on my screen, but if you'd like, you can go to Massage Book and follow along with me. Just know that if you do that, what you see on your screen is probably going to be a little bit different than what's on mine. I'll see location information for Charleston, South Carolina, since that's where I am. You'll see info for wherever you are located. If you want to change that, just click in this box and you can search elsewhere. Also, if you see anything on my screen about test business, test promotions, anything like that, that's simply because I'm using a test version of Massage Book for purposes of this demonstration. Anything like that isn't actually live on the site. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to start talking about my friend Dan who is looking to book a massage. Dan could have found Massage Book through a number of different ways. He could have seen an ad on Facebook. He could have been Google searching for massage and found a blog article that led him here. He could have signed up for Massage Book's mailing list and gotten an email that brought him here. Regardless of however Dan got here today, Massage Book is working hard to drive people to this site people who are looking for massage and bodywork services. We see thousands of weekly visitors coming to Massage Book. That number is a bit down this year for obvious reasons, but we're starting to see a steady uptick in activity. On this page, there are a lot of available resources other than just being able to search for a provider like Dan is gonna do here in the next few moments. So let's take a quick look at those right now. If you've ever been here before, but it's been a little while, the first thing you'll probably notice is this new massage deals section down here. 
This is a new addition to the promotions feature in Massage Book, where a business can run deals and specials on services and gift certificates. In the past, you, the business owner, could really only promote your promotions through your own efforts. Email, social media, things like that. Now you can choose to list your promotion right here in the Massage Book directory, so visitors to this site, just like Dan, can quickly check out any specials that are going on in the area. This section right here on the home page will list the six closest promotions to Dan, and all he has to do is select View Deal, and that'll take him to the promotions page where he can learn more about the special and book an appointment. I'm not going to get into all the nitty gritty details of running promotions right now. That's another topic for another day. But just know that this is the biggest change to the directory that you'll see so far. We're also adding a more robust deal section to another part of the site that I'll touch on briefly in just a few moments. So the key takeaway here is if you're ever running a promotion in Massage Book and you want to get it in front of as many people as possible, I highly recommend that you select the option to list it in the directory. It's a fantastic way to catch the attention of people who are visiting this page. Back up top, Dan can learn about different types of bodywork and modalities under this Techniques tab. He can learn about the awesome health benefits of massage under this Benefits tab. If he wants to learn more about the general massage experience, he can check out the FAQs. And if he wants to catch up on some reading related to massage, wellness, that's all here on the blog. I know massage is awesome. You know massage is awesome. That's exactly what this page is for. It is designed for those who, as we put it here, need to discover the difference a great massage can make. That's exactly what Dan is ready to do now. So all he has to do is select search. And that's going to pull up a list of all the businesses and service providers in his area who are on Massage Book and have chosen to be listed in the directory. Okay, so there are a lot of different ways that Dan can find what he's looking for on this page. He can look at business listings under this tab. He can look up individual service providers under this tab. He's got all these tools up here. He's got all these other tools over here. Basically, Dan has a lot of different ways that make it easy for him to narrow down his search. I'm not going to go through all of them now, mainly for the sake of time. Plus, we've got some really nice improvements coming to this page. I don't have anything I can show you specifically right now, but just know that you can expect to see a fresh, clean redesign. That'll make it easier to get around. It's going to be lightning fast, so these results load much faster. It's going to be mobile friendlier, so it'll look and work really well on a phone. Plus, we've got that new deals section that we're going to be adding to this page. That'll be an expansion on the homepage deals I showed you earlier. Be on the lookout for those soon. We'll certainly let you know when they're live. But in the meantime, you are more than welcome to come check out how these pages work for yourself. As you can see, everything on this page makes it really easy for someone like Dan to find the provider that's right for him. So that's what I want to touch on now, how you're presenting yourself when someone does find your listing in the directory. Dan's looking for some businesses close to his office. So he's gonna zoom in on the map and he is found too close by. Massage Therapy by Robin and Taylor's Business. This one and this two next to their listings represent local rank. Local rank is calculated based on a number of factors in Massage Book, including the location of the business. Basically, how close is the business to where the person is searching from? You can expect to see some improvements to location detection as well. Moving forward, the system will have a better idea of where someone is searching from, and that's going to help with the accuracy of local rank, especially in more densely populated areas. Another factor when determining local rank is whether or not the business lets new clients book through their directory listing. You can be listed in the directory, but you don't have to let new clients book online. However, businesses that do let clients book online are ranked much higher. Basically, that just boils down to why the directory exists, to make it easy for someone like Dan to find and book a service provider. They can come right here to the directory and leave with a new appointment. Robin and Taylor are located right next to one another and they both let new clients book online, but Robin is coming out ahead of Taylor in this scenario because as you've probably already figured out, the overall review rating plays a really big part in local rank. Robin has a nice collection of five-star reviews and Taylor has none. Reviews are very, very important, 
but Massage Book makes it really, really easy for you to collect them and display them online for all the world to see. Just like promotions, we could have a whole discussion around reviews that I won't get into today, but just know if you aren't using reviews, you are missing out on a highly effective way to make yourself stand out. A little later on, I'll quickly point out how you can turn on the feature. If you've got Yelp reviews or Google reviews, you can also hook those up to Massage Book. They won't impact your local rank here, but they will show on your listing and they can definitely show someone like Dan that you come highly recommended by others. Now, local rank isn't the only thing that matters here, so let's take a quick look at Robin's listing now. This preview window that you're seeing here is also getting a makeover, so we're gonna check out the full details so that Dan has a clear picture of what Robin has to offer. So regardless of design or layout of the directory, how it looks now, what it's gonna look like, everything that I'm gonna to touch on when looking at Robin's listing, and Taylor's listing is still gonna be beneficial to you when thinking about how you want your own listing to look. Her business name is clear and easy to understand, Massage Therapy by Robin. Her headline right here clearly states the benefit of why Dan should book with her, be at peace in just 60 minutes. Her description down here starts off by addressing a problem that most of her clients like Dan are probably facing. She knows it's been a stressful year for a lot of people, so she's letting Dan know that she's got a solution to help alleviate some of that pain. She then tells Dan a little bit about her professional experience and what her goals are as a therapist. And finally, she wraps it up by telling Dan to book an appointment today. Over here, she's got some nice professional looking photos of her working. All of this is making it really easy for Dan to picture himself getting treatment from Robin. All of these things that she's doing right here just on her main page alone are telling Dan that he will not be disappointed if he books with her. Same thing over on her services page. She has more photos of her working, clear descriptions of the services she offers. That way Dan knows what to expect based on which one he picks. On her staff page, she talks about herself a little bit more personally and why she loves massage. She has a lot of reviews that Dan can check out from Massage Book, Yelp, and Google. So there's a lot of feedback that he can take a look at. Over on her contact page, that information is readily available. If he wants to see what she's doing on social media, he can check that out as well. Everything that Robin is doing here, she's knocking it out of the park. She's put plenty of time and effort into this page, and it looks fantastic. So now let's go back and check out Taylor's listing. I'll just open up this window, and we'll take a quick peek. But before I continue, I just want to let you know that Taylor works here at Massage Book in our support department. He's awesome. We love him. I'm just having a little fun with him today. But let's just pretend for a few minutes that Taylor is a real provider on Massage Book. It doesn't take a whole lot to see that there's a big difference between Taylor, between what Taylor is doing and what Robin is doing. I love pizza, Taylor loves pizza, I'm sure Dan loves pizza too, but this probably isn't the best photo choice for this situation. His description isn't really doing much for Dan either. It's not really telling him a whole lot. Plus he's got a classic typo right here. You're gonna love getting a massage with me. Taylor doesn't have any reviews. He forgot to set his hours, so it looks like he's closed, even though he's actually open. I'm sorry, Taylor, but if I were a betting man, I'd put my money on Dan picking Robin over you. Just based on solely what we are seeing here, I'm sure everyone else out there would agree. So let's switch gears now, and I'm going to take us to Robin's massage book account, and we're going to take a look around at what she's been doing to make her listing look awesome. Okay, we are now under the setup section in Robin's Massage Book business account. If you have a Massage Book account, you may remember that this is one of the first things we ask you to do when you're first getting started, and that's to complete the four sections listed here on the left, simply by filling them in with your business's information. We then take what you've added here and turn it into your directory listing, just like the ones we were looking at earlier. It's really easy to do, but if you aren't aware of why it's important, it's also really easy to just fly through it without too much thought or effort. So for those of you who have actually completed this, I ask you, when's the last time you actually checked it to make sure it's accurate, up to date, and really putting your best foot forward? 
I know the whole bit about Dan was just a story, but that kind of stuff can actually happen. And that's exactly why what you put here is important. So I'm gonna go through a few of these sections and give you some pointers, plus show you a few common mistakes. Okay, let's first start with business details. Here's all the basic info about your business, name, address, phone number. Make sure that all of this is correct. It's really important if you want a new client to be able to have a good first experience. Please check to see if your address is formatted properly. That's really important to make sure that you show up in the right spot on the map in the directory. Don't use this space right here for something like directions on how to find you if you're at an odd location. Save that kind of stuff for something like your appointment confirmation emails. If you've got any of these social business links, down here, we already supply the first part like Facebook for you. All you have to do is just supply this unique extension like Robin has done here. No need for you to include Facebook in this part. I've seen that done quite a few times. That'll just mess up your links on your public contact page and send someone to an invalid website if they click one of the buttons. Also, double check your business hours down here too, but please remember that these hours are used simply for display purposes only on your listing. They don't affect your online booking availability. Remember when Dan didn't see any hours for Taylor? That's just because Taylor didn't fill out any of these days. That's what these hours are for. Moving on, let's go to the About section and we'll talk about your photos and your writing. I understand that this might be the most challenging part for some of you. I get it. Writing and talking about yourself can be tough, but it can help you so much if what you put down here really resonates with the types of clients you're going for. Speak to your audience, be authentic, be professional, and really strive to show whoever is reading this that your services can be of value to them. That's the type of stuff that's going to draw people in. Do that here in the tagline and in the description. If you'd like for someone to read through what you've put together, if you're having any trouble, I'm more than happy to take a look. Shoot us an email at support at massagebook.com. Ask for Kyle, and I'll see what I can do to help. Same thing down here with your photos. I know this part can be tough too. It's very tempting to just use the closest selfie you can find on your phone but it's definitely worth investing your time and a little money into some pictures that are of a bit higher quality. It's gonna leave a much better first impression with whoever sees them. If you don't have the resources to hire a professional, there are some crazy good cameras on phones nowadays. Grab a friend, do a photo shoot kinda of like what Robin has done here. I'm sure y'all can come up with something really nice looking or maybe even think about trading your services with someone who is a photographer, that could be a good idea too. Moving on, let's go to the service menu now. Same principles apply here as well. Get some photos of you in action that match the services you've listed here. We provide some pre-written descriptions for you, but always make sure it's easy for a new client to understand what it is they're booking and why it's beneficial. Massage and body work can be very new to them. It's always a good approach to take when talking about your services. Just for the sake of time, I'm going to head up here to the personal section in Robin's account, and then I'm going to go to her listing. Earlier in this demo, Dan had the option to search by providers in the directory. The information you add down here to these sections is used specifically for your personal listing that shows in those search results. People use that search option all the time, so be sure to review what you've done here as well and be as thorough as possible in each of these sections. Once you've got your listing looking awesome, it's time to go to business settings so that you can start letting new clients book with you through the directory. But before I do that, I'm gonna take a quick detour on the way over there just to point out some things I mentioned earlier. If you wanna get started with reviews, go here. Just follow the instructions on this page. If you wanna add a deal to the directory, go to marketing and then promotions where you can build a promo. If you have any questions about any of these features, we've got plenty of available resources and our online help. Moving on, let's go to business settings and then online booking rules. Here's where you can turn on the option to let new clients book with you through the directory. Before you can check this third box over here, make sure that your business listing is flipped on in the top right corner like it is here for Robin. 
That'll put your business in the directory. And then you'll need to check these top two boxes right here. This will let existing clients book with you and this will let new clients book with you through your massage book website that's separate from your directory listing. So to recap, flip on your business listing, check these top two boxes, and then you'll be able to check this third box to get new clients from the directory. If you have more questions about these different booking rules that I just ran through, check out these learn more links right here and that'll go into more detail. I do have to point out that there is a marketing fee for using the directory. If a new client finds and books with you through your directory listing, 15% of the service cost is deducted from their payment to you. It only applies when you get a new paying client with the help of Massage Book, and it's only one time per new client. Any fees that we collect go right back into improving the directory and marketing it to more people. Please note that any new client who is booking through the directory will have to prepay for their appointment when they're checking out online in order to reserve their spot. To make sure that you get paid when this happens, go over here to credit card payments and follow the steps on this page to connect to either of the two credit card processors we support, either Square or Stripe. Doing so will ensure that your new client's payment is sent directly to you. Thank you so much for joining me on this tour of Massage Book. I realize I've gone a bit longer than I intended, but I hope you learned some valuable tips along the way that you can start implementing into your own business. I'm going to hop out of Massage Book now. Keep sending any questions my way. Stick around if you'd like, and I'll try to answer as many as I can. Okay, thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I've got a few questions that I'll quickly pull up real quick and see what we can answer. Uh, one of the questions, when people are searching in the directory, will it only bring up massage book clients? Yes, the directory is really specifically for businesses and service providers who have signed up for massage book and have selected to be listed in the directory. That will put you in there. Um, so yeah, in your account up in the top right, you'll see a spot for business listing. That'll put you in there, your business in there, and then over in your personal profile that we touched on as well. Select personal listing in the top right, and that's going to put you in there. And yes, businesses that are on Massage Book, those are the ones who are listed in the directory. Another question for establishment license number. Can we put our LLC number on that business details page I was showing you earlier? Yeah, you could probably put that in there. I don't know. I've ever been asked that question specifically, but there's going to be a slot on your massage book listing where whatever number that you enter there is going to display on your listing. If that doesn't work for you, you can always add it down in that about section that we were looking at. And that's going to be in um, will display publicly on your profile as well. Another question, how can we get packages to show up in our service menu? Packages right now are only for, you can only book them on your end. They are not available for online booking at this time. It's been that way for quite some while, but we are in the process of hopefully making some changes to that soon. So in your service menu, if you do have a package listed at this time, it will not display uh, publicly on your listing. Someone else wanted to ask, will I get a recording of this? I had to leave. Yes, expect to see a recording of this in your email inbox, uh, probably within the next 24 hours. Um, Rachel wants to know, is it important for my details in Massage Book to match what I have in Google? Does that make a difference? Does my Google, does my Massage Book page show in Google? Search. Yeah, everywhere online, if you have Google pages, if you have a Facebook page, anywhere in Massage Book, it is extremely important that your names match, your phone numbers match, the way you formatted your address, all of that different stuff, especially for SEO purposes, name, address, phone number, you want all of that to match up. So definitely, if you have accounts elsewhere, go around, make sure that what you have in Massage Book is the same as those places that will definitely help for your SEO rank. Yes, and your massage book listing can also show in Google search as well. If someone is searching for their area, 
massage and some things match up, it is possible for your massage book listing to appear in those search results. Um, let's see. How do you change locations for outcall services? Not sure exactly what you mean by that, but we do offer outcall services as well. Um, if you are a provider, you do have the option to list your outcall services. When someone does go to your listing, they can search for the address that um, where they want their service to be at. And then if you are within their um, location, then they can book with you through there. Um, Is our massage book website only available within massage book or can it be pointed to our domain? If you do have your own domain, you can use your massage book website um, for that. Let me get you a little bit more information on how to do that. It's, it's a little bit more of a process than I've got to go through here. Pauline asks, one of my businesses says prices not available. I have prices. Pauline, let me go take a specific look at your listing after this, and we will follow up with you on that. Going back to Pauline, sorry, Rachel is telling me that, Pauline, you need a bodywork 60-minute service for your pricing to show. If you do have any further questions, you can email us directly, support at massagebook.com. Call us at 843-352-2026. And you can also live chat with us directly in your Massage Book account. Thank you so much. Y'all have a fantastic day. Take care. Bye.